products featured in today's video were provided by Pandemony Toys for the purposes of this review. So back at San Diego Comic-Con 2019, I spoke with the guys over at Pandemony Toys. It's a smaller independent toy company that had on display a really interesting toy line. This toy line is for a wholly original property, which is something that you just don't see very often these days. Don't get me wrong, I don't think there's anything wrong with licensed products, I love most of them, but I also love seeing original concepts and ideas, especially in a line of action figures. There's something about that that just feels very nostalgic, very 80s and 90s to me, and that's absolutely the vibe I got from Alter Nation. This is a really fun looking toy line and the awesome folks over at Pandemony Toys were nice enough to send along a set so that we can open them up and get a close look at what this particular line of action figures has to offer. We've got six different figures here and as you can see there are two different sizes. We kind of got these smaller basic figures and then we've got these larger deluxe figures. All of them come in these very cool window boxes that are very unique with some nice artwork on there. Some really neat looking characters that are sort of like that animal type thing. You know what I mean? We saw a lot of that in the 90s. Uh, you know, with uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and lots of cool stuff like that. So I'm really excited to dive in and take a look at it. So why don't we do that right now? All right, we're gonna look at each of these alternation figures one by one, and we'll start things off with Albert Seven here. And one of the things I wanna bring up is that each of these figures comes with a mini comic. How cool is that? So it totally fleshes out a storyline for all of these characters. It features some really fantastic artwork. Look at that. Featuring several of the characters found within the line. We even have a nice little cross cell there on the back showing all the different figures. So that's pretty cool stuff. Definitely something I can appreciate. Uh, always love getting something like this that tells the story for these brand new characters and definitely has that retro throwback feel to it. I like it quite a bit. So here is our figure. Now this is one of the basic figures here. Uh, so if I bring in the tape measure, you can see that the figure stands just shy of a full five inches tall. In fact, the horns almost put them up to the full five inches there. So that's what you can expect with these guys. Quality feels real good here. I mean, the plastic quality feels great. The articulation feels nice and tight and they're so colorful. I mean, look at the bright colors that are used throughout here. Now there are a few stickers that you had to put on yourself. So I had to put on like the little uh, kitty sticker on his canteen here on the front. Uh, we had to put on this little sticker right here, which is actually kind of peeling a little bit. So hopefully that's not a problem with all of those. Um, so yeah, there's just a few stickers you got to put on. But otherwise, uh, he comes out of the box ready to go. And articulation wise, it's pretty good. So the head's ball jointed. You can see that the collar there, it's a bit of a hard, rigid plastic. So that hinders the movement just a little bit there. You can see you got those nice hinges at the shoulders, forwards and backwards movement. You got a single elbow joint there. Doesn't look like there's a swivel at the bicep, but we can swivel the wrist and there's hinge joints at the wrist. You can turn them at the waist. You got those ball joints at the thighs. So the legs can go outwards, forwards, and backwards as well as kind of swivel a little bit there. You got single joints in the knees underneath the sculpted knee pads. And then you can see the ankles can uh, rock forward and backwards. You got that little pivot there. Uh, they do not move side to side very well. Got a little bit there, I guess. Yeah, actually, okay, there you go. We do have the side to side movement. That's perfect. And of course, he's... Um, Got those nice monkey feet there, you know, that almost have like the thumbs on them. Uh, but you can see he stands pretty good. Like we don't have to worry about him falling over or anything like that. I've got no problems posing him around. Articulation feels really good. And he comes filled with accessories. Like this dude's got a ton of them. So check it out. He's got this uh, little machine gun, which I love because it's got a banana peel here on the bottom. Uh, so here we can get this stored in his hand. He's even got the little trigger finger there, which is really cool. So check that out. We can get him holding on to that gun. We've also got a little uh, single pistol, which has got like this little spiral yellow piece on the end there. Uh, and I think this is kind of like our practical joker as well, because he also comes with a pie, uh, likely a banana cream pie, I would imagine. We got this great mallet, which I love this mallet accessory, because you got this little button on the top, and then uh, boom, look at that. A little boxing glove punches out of there, like boom. <laughs> you can knock him down. I think that's a lot of fun. And then he also comes with this uh, small whoopee cushion. 
It says, gotcha. And that's even got like a little picture of him. Or it's like a monkey. You can see the little horns there. Uh, so it's a real whoopee cushion. Although be careful with it because I, I split mine like right away the first time I tried to blow it up. So just be careful because it's really small and it's easy to pull it apart. So that was probably my fault. I probably pulled it a little too hard there. Um, but it's fun that he's got all these fun practical joke accessories. Oh, I totally forgot to mention the tail on the back. The tail's also got a nice bendy wire there. Uh, you know, it's got the, the little curl stays on the end but yeah look at that nice bendy wire all the way through and he's a very solid action figure so that'll bring us to sham who is our chameleon character i love the look of this guy uh very cool he's got this translucent plastic that his whole body's made out of but it's kind of frosted there and you can see how it changes colors from like this light green to this yellow specifically on the hands but the yellow is also seen on the neck there uh you can see he's got really wonky eyes but of course that's uh by design just like you would see from an actual chameleon there and there's this little mini comic which also is included of course um but this also also plays into the action features you got going on so look he's got this little wheel on his back very classic feeling action feature right i mean i've got visions of tongue lasher here from masters of the universe because when you turn that dial he's got the tongue that darts in and out of his mouth but also look at his eyes his eyes are kind of spinning and going all over the place. So I thought that was really, really fun. He's also got this tail on the back, which unlike with Albert, this one is like a very squishy material. So look at that. It's like real squishy, kind of flexes all around. But otherwise, the articulation on this guy feels the same. Now, he can't turn at the neck, and that's because of the action feature that's built in there. But he does have the same kind of articulation at the shoulders, the elbows, the swivels at the wrist there. Um, doesn't appear like he's got the hinges on the wrists. Uh, nothing in the waist because again that action feature but he does have the same ball joints at the thighs so the articulation is mostly the same there is a few sacrifices for the action feature and unfortunately i do have to point out one qc issue with this guy you might have noticed already but he's got two right hands it's unfortunate so one of the hands uh was assembled incorrectly on this guy bit of a bummer there um Aside from that, the construction feels solid. I know it happens sometimes, but it is always a bit of a bummer to see. Uh, he's got a few fun accessories. He's kind of got that spy motif going on, or he's almost like this proper gentleman kind of thing. So check it out. We've got this umbrella accessory, which is like a sword. Look at that. So like you push that in and the little dagger comes out the tip. Uh, we've got a pistol that's got like a silencer on the end, which is really cool. So here, let me... Put that in his hands here and you can fit, you know, like his trigger finger. Look at that. How cool is that? And then we've got this little book which can open up and reveal dynamite with a little timer on it. So, yeah, man, really fun accessories with these guys. That's definitely something uh, that these guys really have going for them. So then we've got El Rey. Now, El Rey is a bit taller. You can see if I bring in the tape measure, he is at six inches tall there. Uh, tall, slender, of course, has his own mini comic, again, with some fantastic artwork there, which is really cool to kind of give you some backstory for this particular character. Um, very cool looking. I love, you know, sea creatures are always awesome. I think that they're fantastic. So he's got this really long tail on the back, which is very similar to what we saw with Sham. It's got that square squishy type feeling to it there. It's kind of stretchy too. You can see how it like stretches off of his back there. The fin though is normal, like, you know, regular kind of plastic like you would feel on the rest of the figure. And the articulation feels just as good on this guy as it did um, specifically on our first figure there, Albert, though he doesn't have the articulation in the waist. And that's because he also has an included action feature by pressing the belts Look at that. He's got nice flashing LED lights right there. How cool is that? Kind of does two little strobes and then a really fast strobe and then it just goes off. So really fun little feature there. Kind of has that like electric eel almost like feel to it, which is really cool. I love the feet on this guy. You can see like the fins there between the toes. Uh, so yeah, again, articulation feels great. The, the plastic quality is awesome on these guys. Like I'm really impressed with how they feel overall because they feel solid. Like these feel like kids could play with them and bash them around, which is great. I think that's awesome. So we got some cool accessories here. Of course, you can't have like a sea creature type character without a trident type weapon, although it's only got two prongs on there, unless this is like a bent one. I don't know, but that's really cool. And then we've also got this really neat little, uh, very underwatery looking kind of harpoon gun, which is very cool stuff. So I really like El Rey. Uh, he's one of my favorites so far in the bunch. 
So this is Quillroy, which, oh my gosh, that's such a fantastic name. So this is one of the big dudes in one of the bigger boxes. And you can see that the spikes on his head put him at seven and a half inches tall. So he is a big, big action figure. And again, fantastic little mini comic there with some epic artwork uh, to give you some backstory for the character there. Uh, really awesome. I love these little mini comics. They're great. So look at this dude. I mean, this is a beast of a character. He almost has like this bat-like look to his face. Uh, but then he's also got quills on his back like a porcupine so really neat kind of mutant hybrid going on there which is really awesome um, he's got like some little headphones look at that hanging off the side of his like his cargo pants there which is really awesome like that fits in great like some of his other accessories here I love this like look he's got this little can of energy drink uh, which says horse bowl energy drink like how amazing is that like that's that's so funny I love stuff like this so very cool guy um, you can see the head articulates the same on like that ball joint you got those hinges at the shoulders so the arms can go outwards forwards and backwards same single joint at the elbow swivels at the wrist no hinges at the wrist you can't turn his waist because he's got an action feature that I'm going to show you but he does have the same ball joints at the thighs there so legs can go outwards forwards backwards kind of roll around really really tight strong joints at the knees which is good and again the ankles have the hinge there um, and can also go side to side which is really cool and he's also got like these hoof type feet look at that that is awesome so here's his uh, little action feature you can see the little buttons on his shoulders there when you press those buttons boom we got the quills that fire off of his back this one didn't quite make it off all the way um, but then you can just take those and stick them right back on his back. And this one is just not cooperating with me there. Uh, but you saw the other two shot off and they just went flying off the table. But you get the idea. So the quills can fire off of his back. Um, and then he's got these crazy weapons. Like here is another another good, uh, like a dude bro weapon to go with his energy drink and his headphones. He's just got this giant barbell the little dumbbell hanging off of it with a real metal chain. I don't know. That's amazing. That is so, so cool. What a fun weapon. And then he's also got a bow and arrow. And he's got all these different arrows. And look, there's like four different types of arrows here. I'm not sure exactly what all of them are. I would imagine that they're all, you know, special arrows of some sort. Uh, but this is really cool because there's actually little grooves here on this so that you can actually place an arrow on there now like a lot of action figures it's very hard to get them posed like they're firing their bow and arrow um and of course that it's just all plastic so it can't really be fired and it doesn't actually move yeah so we can't really get a good pose on there but it's still really neat i always love bow and arrow accessories and i love that it comes with all the arrows and the arrows are removable that's really fun for accessories so this is Sabotage, another one of our big figures there. You can see he stands almost a full seven inches tall. And he's like our big mech suit dude. And he is awesome. First of all, I love the color scheme. Like the various blues and shades of purple. I think that looks really, really cool on this guy. Uh, much like Albert at the beginning, we had a few stickers that we had to place on this figure there. Um, and there's some real fun stuff going on in the design. Like, look at this. He's got like this big old metal arm, almost like a crane arm, which plugs into his back and attaches to his wrist. And it's like that's supposed to give like his arm like a super strength kind of a thing. So he's got like a power punch and it's a spring loaded feature. Basically Basically by pulling his arm back, you can see it shoots forward there. So he does have like a spring loaded arm over there, uh, but very, very cool looking. And uh, he's got a light up feature here as well. There's a little button right there in the middle of his back. And by pressing that. Wow. Not just a light up feature, lights and sounds. You can see the the eyes pulsate red, a nice bright, vibrant red. And it's got like an alarm sound to it, which is really cool. Very eerie, creepy looking character. I love that. That is so cool. <laughs> so he's got some uh, very cool mech like weapons that go with him too like he's got this gigantic gun over here uh, you can see his arm is a bit loose like he's kind of having a hard time holding up that big gun it's falling down a little bit there uh, articulation is this, aside from the uh, spring loaded arm over here which he does you know you can still turn the wrist and everything and it's got a hinge joint on the wrist uh, but this arm over here works the same as the others same kind of articulation uh, nothing at the waist I love the like grenades around his belt that's really cool and then you can see you can bend the knees and and then the ankles move and everything there too. So he's pretty cool looking. Um, 
The action feature, of course, that is going to get in the way of posing them or some of the articulation, but it's good for kids to play with them. And, you know, so I guess this could really go for collectors or kids. I think that's neat that they designed these this way. Well, like we've also got like the giant like Gatling gun accessory, which is very cool. And then we've also got like a knife and like a little boomerang there. And of course, he's got his own little mini comic as well. Really cool stuff. And then we've got Dart, who I saved till the end on purpose because I just think he's so cool looking. This is the one that really grabbed my attention back at Comic-Con when I saw these guys on display in the case. So you can see he's hunched over, so he stands about six inches tall, uh, but he's a pretty big figure. I mean, he's almost five inch uh, lengthwise there because he's big and he's hunched over. He's just got a really fun look. Again, he's got like humanoid uh, type stuff going on here. Like he's wearing like the cargo shorts and the fingerless gloves and he's got like this little backpack thing on you can see he's wearing like the uh, headphones with the microphone piece he's a very cool looking figure now his articulation is a bit different than the others like you can still bend the elbow and everything and look at the heads kind of ball jointed but he's got an action feature there uh, let me see if we can get it to work. So basically, he's got these like spring-loaded legs here because he's supposed to do like a backflip and land on his feet. So this is how we're supposed to do it. Bend him down like this. You let him go. Oh, he just flipped all the way off camera. Let's see. We got to get this to work, right? We got to get it to work at least once. And I messed with it a little bit when I first opened it. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Here we go. One more time. Ready? Let's see if we can do it again. Oh, man. Okay, well, now... Come on, Dart. You got this. Well, at least he did it once, right? Yeah. We'll just pretend like we did it again. <laughs> That's, no, no. You know what? We got we to gotta make this happen. Or not, because now I'm on the spot. All right. So, hey, he also comes with this little dude. He's unarticulated. Uh, it's like a little shield on his back there. So yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't move or anything, but we got a little human. So I guess maybe this is like, I don't know. Is this like a normal human size compared to these guys? Cause they're tiny. And then he's also got this crazy thing, which I don't know. Is this supposed to go around his neck? Maybe I don't think he can hold it. I'm going to put on his, on his, uh, on his head here. You know what? Cause you can actually pull his head off. Is this what you do? You put, nope, nope. Doesn't fit over the ball joint. Hmm, what am I missing with this accessory? Maybe there's answers inside of his mini comic. Can we tell? Nope, no idea. I'm not sure how this works. <laughs> So he does have this crazy weapon. So uh, one of the other things to note, like he's got these like squishy pieces on the sides on his back. I don't know what they actually do. Like it sounds like it's doing something. Uh, but it looks really cool. That's for sure. It didn't say anything about any other action features on the little instructions that came with it. Just that he does flips, which I now can't get him to do, but at least I got him to do it once. Oh, Hey, that time he like over rotated. So now I'm just going to sit here and do this all day until we get him to figure it out again. Dang it. So here they are all together. That way you can see the scale differences between these guys. Uh, man, it's they're really bright and colorful, and they're all very different looking from one another. And I think that's one thing that really works in favor for this line uh, because they just really stand out. Like I said, when I saw these all grouped together uh, back at San Diego Comic-Con, I mean, they were an instant standout to me because they just look so different and so unique. Uh, something that you don't see a whole lot of today in the toy aisles. So I think that is really, really awesome stuff that we got all these very cool, very unique looking characters. So really fun. Uh, you know, I only had a few weird little things going on, like uh, strange QC stuff with like the hand there. Um, but otherwise, I think these guys are a lot of fun. And it's going to be one of those things too, where like, if you don't love action features, maybe these aren't for you, but I think they're a lot of fun and they really do a good job of kind of hearkening back to some of those older, fun, colorful toys, specifically in the 90s. So there you guys go, a look at Alternation from Pandemony Toys. I think they are a lot of fun. And I gotta give a very special thanks once again to the folks over at Pandemony uh, who sent these over and allowed me to open them up and really kind of take a good look at them on camera so you guys know what to expect from the toy line. The other cool thing is that they are offering a discount code for viewers of this channel. So if this looks like something that you are interested in purchasing to add to your collection, you can head on over to the Pandemony Toys store. I'll put the link in the video description and if you check out using coupon code PIXELDAN as all one word, you will get 10% off of your order. So pretty cool deal there. Very cool of Pandemony Toys to do that for us. Uh, this coupon code can be used all the way through
through the end of January 2020. So uh, use it if you want to buy them. That way you can save yourself a little bit of cash.